Hello and welcome to this Plex Earth video. In this case study, we will demonstrate how to use Plex Earth's contour elevation data to create a topo surface in Revit. After that, we will proceed with the design of our road by following the morphology of our area. Let's start. First, we begin in AutoCAD by importing a terrain model using Plex Earth 5D. Before doing so, make sure that the drawing is georeferenced. More information about georeferencing can be found in the tutorials on our website. To import the terrain, click on the Import Terrain button located in the terrain panel of the Plex Earth 5D ribbon, then select the preferred terrain provider. Next, specify the terrain cover area. In our case, we select this polyline outlook. After finalizing this setup, the terrain's contour information will be available in our workspace. We may prefer contour lines with more density, so we will set the minor and major contours to 10 and 50 meters respectively and click Apply. At this moment, our terrain model is still dynamic. To be able to use our contour lines into Revit, we will need to insert them as drawing objects. To do so, from the Terrain Editor palette, we select Insert, and then Contour Polylines. Now, our contours are inserted as a block. We want them as separate polylines for Revit, so we will explode our block. We can then delete any unnecessary drawing object to avoid inserting it in our Revit model, like the outlook in this case, and save our drawing. We are now ready to proceed with Revit. Let's open a new project and navigate to the Insert tab and select the Link CAD option. Locate the DWG file we want to link and specify the link options. We want to make sure that we have unticked the current view only option so our contour lines are inserted to all the available views of Revit. We also need to pay attention to the import units. If we leave this option to auto detect, a file will be created in Imperial Imports with feet and inches as units. If the AutoCAD file was created in metric, then the drawing will be imported into Revit in millimeters as the unit. Generally, it is advised to work with the same units in both AutoCAD and Revit. In our case, we work with meters in both software, so we leave this option to auto detect and proceed. Now, our contour lines are inserted into our Revit model. The next step is to create a topo surface using Plex Earth's contours. For better visualization, let's open a 3D view. Go to the View tab and select 3D View. To proceed with our topo surface, go to the Massing and Site tab and select the respective button. On the Topo Surface Editor, we select Create from Import and then select Import Instance. We select the imported DWG from our model space. In the next window, we define the layers we want to use in our topo surface. Since we want to create our topo surface from contour lines, we select the layers Plex Earth Contours Major and Plex Earth Contours Minor and click OK and Finalize. Now, our topo surface is created. We can turn the visual style to realistic for a better view of our terrain model. Now that our topo surface is ready, we can proceed to create our road. To do so, we will need to define our road path. Since there is no direct tool for road creation, we will draw our road outlook and use detail lines. First, we switch to the site view and then go to the annotate tab 
and select detail lines. In our model, let's draw the path that our road will follow. After we complete the road path, we go to the Modify tab and select Offset. We choose to offset by the desired value, for example, 10 meters, and repeat for all the detail lines. After the offsetting of all detail lines has been finished, add an extra detail line at the top of your road to close them. Finally, we again select detail lines in the Annotate tab, and from the Modify window, we select the Fillet Arc option to make the corners of our road rounder. Let's set the desired radius value for the arc, and we proceed for all the corners. After finishing this process, we have finalized the look of our road. Now, we will use these detail lines to create a split surface of our double surface which will serve as a road. To proceed with that, from the Massing and Sight tab, we select the Split Surface command. Then, we are prompted to select the surface we want to split. From the 3D view, we select our topo surface. Then, on the Modify panel, we select the Pick Lines tool. After that, click here to select our detail lines and choose all of them. Once finished, select the tick icon to finalize the process. After the split surface is completed, the last step needed for it to appear as a road is to apply a proper material. To do so, we select the split surface from the 3D view and check on the material option at the properties tab. Choose one of the asphalt materials Revit offers and select OK. Now, our road is finished. Optionally, we can delete the inserted drawing from AutoCAD. We can also navigate to our model in 3D view. As we are at the end of this video of creating a roadwork in Revit using Plex Earth's contours, we can see how important it is to have access to accurate high-quality elevation data in forms that can be accessed through various design software like the ones Plex Earth 5D offers. Try it out yourself by installing a free trial. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thank you for watching!